Welcome to the session of data interpretation. Today I am going to discuss about the shortcut technique related to addition and subtraction. Addition and subtraction, this is you can say it is a most fundamental uh, mathematical operation which we learn during the school time. During the school time, our education, our mathematics will start with the addition and subtraction. Counting, it is a part of addition and subtraction, and recounting again after then arrangement and uh, you can say um, selection, all are part of the addition and subtraction. Means in all these activities during a school time we are learning basic addition and subtraction but now addition and subtraction we will use two techniques that will be helpful during your exam or especially during your di case slate addition and subtraction basically both are almost same means you can say mathematically if you are doing operation either addition or subtraction technique wise it will not much difference only thing you have to take care about the number of digits means if you are adding or you are subtracting the resultant number number of digits may change depends on the depends on the mathematical operation either you are doing the addition or subtraction that change will uh, you will be able to figure out very easily only thing uh, little problem will be there if all the numbers involved they are having the different number of digits that only we have to just here take care if if all the numbers are having same number of digits then figuring out is easy if all the numbers are having different number of digits or in one question or in one calculation if addition subtraction both are used then figuring out the number of digits of the resultant number is little difficult that time we have to use little common sense and we can use one system that is called trust uh, trust and work system this trust and work system will teach you how to re-verify your calculation especially you can say multiplication division addition and subtraction this is uh, trachenberg is one of the famous mathematician and he has developed one system that is based on the digit sum digit sum means if you are adding all the digits of any number then we will get the digit sum digit sum different uh, definition is you can say one uh, different definition is if you are dividing any number by 9 then whatever reminder is coming that is digit sum and this will again discuss in detail about the digit sum and reminder in number session this is one of the separate session about the digit sum and this is one of the very important concept then but this concept digit sum concept how we can apply for the basic mathematical operation like addition subtraction multiplication and division and trust and work has developed one system based on that system we will able to re-verify our calculation or you will able to just take a correct answer choices among available choices then here we are going to discuss about basically three points techniques for addition techniques for uh, subtraction and uh, third is trust and work system in shortcut we can say it is a ts or a trust and work system anything now for either addition or subtraction two three thing you have to keep in mind just four if you are applying the any shortcut calculation if you are applying the shortcut calculation then two three things you should keep in mind first is all numbers are of the same number of digits or not means whatever in ca your calculation numbers are involved that all are having same number of digits or not like just suppose if you are adding 353 plus 493 both are three digit number both are three digit number then resultant may be three digit number or maximum maybe four digit number it cannot go beyond that it cannot go beyond that only thing we have to just check it is three digit or four digit that will depends on just adding the initial digit that i will discuss during the techniques how to apply this and second condition is all numbers are of different number of digits all numbers are of different number of digits or you can say combination of number of digits then also you have to careful what will be the resultant number of digits after addition or subtraction and third thing maybe sometimes decimal will be involved or sometimes decimal will not involved maybe you will encounter the calculation like 292.81 plus 1239 this is four digit number this is three digit number but this is decimal part also involved decimal decimal part if number of digits are two or more than two in all of the numbers whatever involved in your calculation then a straight way you can ignore this is not going to affect your answer if number of digits are single digit or double digit two digit then only you just approximate the decimal part decimal part means this part in this part you can approximate if number of digits are either single or double digit but if uh, bigger numbers are given means number of digits are three four or above that then decimal part will become almost negligible almost negligible only you have to just add these one two three nine and two ninety two 
that also again i will discuss in uh, technique how to add in very fast and how to take the approximate value here we are not adding exactly we are taking the approximate value and based on the approximate value you will able to figure out the option choices or figure out the solutions for that part of calculation i'm not telling this will be a, your final uh, calculation for any question maybe may not be but intermediate intermediate also if this calculation is coming then what will be your the resultant number and based on that number you have to proceed for next step of calculation or next step of solution now here what are the techniques techniques are very basic it is not very high five only thing whatever techniques we will use you just try to practice few days few days means like same day i will again repeat like it is habit number one out of your seven habits in that basic math you have to revise daily 15 to 20 minutes in that 15 to 20 minutes you try to figure out and try to revise just like a c you can say it is a just to see like mirror you are uh, daily uh, daily you are seeing the mirror same day whatever techniques are there mostly you can say 20 25 techniques are there that 25 techniques will be sufficient for your cat preparation that 20 to 25 technique try to go through on daily basis just look no need to go again and again in very depth just take a look and again uh, you finish your habit number one as a daily habit as a daily habit one is basic math practice another is your reading practice that is your habit number two again it is all discuss in detail in your seven habit session now here one thing just we will uh, unlearn a school knowledge or you can say whatever mathematics you have learned during your school time generally any type of mathematical uh, calculation or mathematical operation we will do from right to left that is told our guruji since beginning the bachche to usi samay se bola gaya always number kaise count karte hain right to left here to make the approximation for addition and subtraction just to do the reverse of that you count the number from left to right it is not exact counting method it is just to approximate your your addition or subtraction just as you show you like if you have to add 293 in 575 1295 if you want to add generally what we are doing we'll add 5 5 10 13 after then 9 9 18 8, 25 like that we will go from right to left right to left and our decimal system also will work based on right to left and based on the right to left place value face value everything is de defined and uh, one separate session we have discussed about the different type of representation of number and about the place value and face value then all in decimal system are defined from right to left right to left for to apply this shortcut what you have to do you have to just think from right to left you have to think from right to left not left to right how you have to think just i will show you in just same number you want to add 293 plus 575 plus 1295 right to left just what we have to observe number of digits one number arriving four number of digits remaining two number are three digit number then this one whatever is there this will keep here and remaining number just will observe we have two five two how much it will be approximately nine then here you have to put 9 remaining no need to put means approximately you can put here 20 that will be more more than enough that much approximation is more than enough how many number will be after 20 that you can figure out it will be two number it will be two number because one number is four digit number two number are three digit number resultant will be always four digit number am i right it will be four digit number two digit you have written then another two digit will be there approximate you can say it is 2000 again it will be more clear after uh, once we will understand all the techniques now number of digits after addition or subtraction now same thing i discussed earlier and again i am repeating number of digits like if just suppose 353 plus 985 what will be the here result resultant uh, number of digits it will be four resultant number of digits i am telling I'm not writing the calculation it will be four four will be your resultant number of digits or sometimes it may be three means whatever number of digits are here it may be same in resultant number or it may increase by one during addition or during subtraction just reverse may be same or it may reduce by one that much only will be possible that much only will be possible correct if one number is a four digit number just suppose like uh, 353 plus 985 if we are adding 1325 then what will happen after addition this is four digit number highest number are involved four digit number then this four digit number resultant will be maximum four digit number you are getting the point remaining are three digit number then resultant will be maximum four digit number it cannot go five digit number because to become a five digit number it should be more than how much it should be more than 9999 you are getting my point this is 1325 if all will become 999 then only next number will become 10,000 then it will be next five digit number that much is not possible because other number are involved less than this this is your highest number of digit number 
four digit then the, here resultant will be four digit only four digit it cannot be three digit it cannot be five digit then same way in subtraction also we should be careful number of digits may change or uh, if it is changing then it will be reduced by one or sometimes if all numbers are having same number of digits then it may not change okay now how to work out this left to right technique left to right technique how to work out very effectively just we'll do one small thing we'll ignore n minus one digit from n digit number just suppose if you are dealing with four digit number then ignore three digit number means from where from this one this is four digit number this is four digit number i am dealing just left to right now what we will do we will just ignore this one four digit number ignore three digit number you add this one 6 plus 5 how much 11 now what is the possibility either it will be 11 itself or it may be 12 that was only possibility a state where you can write 12 after 12 only thing is there three digit number will be there b x y z 1 2 0 0 1 or maybe 1 1 something something but here we can approximate in exact way 1 2 triple 0 means 12,000 we can approximate if you want to find the exact number if choices has given and you want to find the exact number you can apply the apply this system trust and work system you can apply how you can apply the trust and work system trust and work system says digit sum of lhs number will be always equal to rhs number this is looks like little magic but it is true and it is applicable for all type of mathematical operation either addition subtraction division or multiplication just here you, you can take a look 37 plus 48 it will be 85 37 digit sum will be 3 plus 7 3 plus 7 is 10 1 plus 0 will be 1 itself and 8 plus 4 it will be 12 you can say again 1 plus 2 3 8 plus 5 will be how much 8 plus 5 is 13 13 1 plus 3 4 1 plus 3 this will be always valid no need to worry then if you are applying the approximation if you want to get the exact number in available answer choices you can apply the trust and work system and you can get the exact number after this like one two you got afterwards what will be there or maybe one one nine nine something will be there what will which number will be exactly if you want or answer choices has given based on that like just suppose if answer choices has given all number are starting with 12 maybe 1 2 5 3 9 1 2 9 5 6 1 2 8 5 7 like all numbers are starting with 12 then it will be a bit difficult which number will be which number will be your resultant number then you can apply the trust and work system of number and whatever this uh, like same number if you can just figure out how you can figure out 6 plus 2 plus 5 plus 9 again finding the digit sum I will discuss during the digit sum class it is another interesting point 9 wherever you are encountered a state where you exclude 9 will be excluded or anywhere after doing the addition of two number or three number if you are getting the nine it will equivalent as a zero nine or zero both are same in finding the digit sum i am telling only for finding the digit sum what is the digit sum digit sum is add the number keep on add the number one time two time three time how many times required to get a single digit number that is digit sum any number if you are adding the digits corresponding digit or you can say all the digits then to get the single digit number you can say sometimes it may take two times or three times how many times it is required you take it but to get the single digit number that is called digits means addition of all the digits involved in any number to get the single digit number is digits if you are adding only one time then that is called sum of digit not digit sum that is sum of digit like here if 6 2 5 9 if you are adding only one time 6 plus 2 8 8 plus 5 13 13 plus 9 22 then 22 will be sum of digit not digit sum to get the digit sum you have to add keep on add to get the single digit number like 6 plus 2 8 8 plus 5 it will be 13 13 plus 9 it will be 22 again 2 plus 2 it will be 4 4 will be digits here again to how to get this 4 you can just apply common sense because digit sum another definition is a reminder whatever reminder you get if you are dividing the number by 9 means anywhere if you are seeing the 9 you just exclude 9 will be excluded 6 plus 2 8 1 you take from here 9 it will uh, complete 9 9 will be out 4 only will be given means either 9 itself or after adding the 2 digit or 3 digit number if you are getting the 9 you just keep on wash out keep on exclude and whatever remaining is there that will be digits here 9 will be out this 9 is out or otherwise uh, if you are in a little confusion then we'll write here 6 2 5 9 if you want to find the digit sum then 9 9 is out no need to count now here 5 plus 2 7 2 only you have sorted you take 2 from here then this also will come become 9 9 out what will be remaining here 4 4 will be digit sum or you can do direct hours. 6 plus 2 8 8 plus 5 8 plus 5 is 13 13 plus 9 22 22 22 2 plus 2 again 
four. Both are same. But this is again shortcut. Wherever you just make nine, make it out. Same way, like another number is there. Five eight two seven. Five eight two seven. This two plus seven nine. It is out. This will be out. Only now this one eight. Again one you will take. This will be out. Directly you can write four will be your digits. Just to make the nine, make it out. Make it nine. Make it out. And it is so easy. You can just carry forward. Keep on, keep on. If it is twenty digit number, also you can find within two three seconds. I'm just telling you, within two three two three seconds you will able to find the digits. It's so easy. No need to just keep on it. You make it nine, was out. Make it nine, was out. If you will consider twenty digit number number also, hardly it will take two second. Now here again, this is four and four. Is this digit sum also coming four? Then four plus four. It will come eight. Means your RHS side digit sum of number, whatever resultant is there, that should come eight. Now number is starting with one two. Another number, last three number may be x y z. Two plus one, it is already three. Means these three number, it should be five. I am telling sum of digit. Okay, it should be five. Then only five plus three will be eight. Then you will get RHS side eight. Now if answer choices has given four answer choices, you just see last three digit which one is giving five. See last three digit which one is giving five. That also. So you can apply again shortcut here. Make it nine, was out. Make it nine, was out. Then hardly I think maybe fraction of second, half of the second, it will be enough to scan your four answer choices or five answer choices, and you will be able to mark correct answer. This again will continue this discussion about digit sum in number session. It is one of the separate uh, session about the digit sum because it is going to help you a lot for finding not only digit sum questions but based on the pattern of digit sum question, many type of questions used to come. And in CAT, in almost after a gap of one or two years, one question will be based on your digit sum, and this is going to help you in not only in number, it is going to help you in algebra also, like multinomial theorem or binomial theorem. Digit sum will be applicable. Level at higher scale, and once we will go through our digit sum chapter, digit sum session in number, you will get more familiarity about the digit sum and how it can apply in various chapters. Here, now subtraction or addition or maybe multiplication, anything you can apply. Just you can see our next technique is there. Apply trust and work system for rechecking or. Matching the answer choices. Like if you are little doubt, means whatever operation you have done, you have little doubt. If you have little doubt, then how to re-verify? How to re-verify? You can apply this system. Like here, three seven plus forty eight, it is eighty five. Here one plus three, it will be four. It will be always valid. Same way, if eighty four is divided by seven. Then it is coming twelve. Then here eight plus four, it is twelve. Digit sum will be three. This is seven equal to three. Now here directly, if you are applying for division, then you may get little confusion. No need to confuse. Division is a just uh, you can say reverse method of multiplication. Division is a reverse of multiplication. If you are dividing two quantity and you are getting one another number, meaning is you are multiplying two number and getting third number. Like eighty four by seven is equal to twelve. You can say seven into twelve equal to eighty four. X y y equal to z means y into z equal to x. This is theory of equality, and we know anywhere if equality sign is given, then this will be valid. If inequality sign is given, then it will be a different implication. Different implication means direct uh, solution you will not get, unique solution you will not get. Again, range of solution will come. That will discuss in algebra if it is given in the form of inequality. But here all we are dealing with equality. This equality sign, this equal is equality sign means LHS should be equal to RHS in various parameters. Like once. We will go to the number session. Then many of the question we will be able to solve based on the this equality sign. If you will use your common sense, many of the like LHS side, maybe it is given a combination of number three, four mathematical operation. Right side one number. If LHS is coming out number, RHS also should come out. Based on that, you will be able to able to judge your answer, able to mark your answer. If LHS side is coming a prime number, right side also will come prime number. These all type, these all are you can say advantage of equality sign. Two line, two horizontal line. This is advantage, and you can take the advantage. Same. Here we can just write here three by seven equal to three. You can just write in reverse way seven into three equal to twenty one, and twenty one is equal to three, and three is your digits. I think it is not confusion. Confusion means I have written in the term of digits, and directly you can write twelve into seven equal to eighty four. Eighty four by seven equal to twelve, or you can write twelve into seven equal to eighty four. Twelve is digit sum. Three seven is seven itself. Seven is seven itself. Then seven into three it will be twenty one. Twenty one means two plus one it is three. Then eighty four is also three. Twelve into seven equal to eighty four. Now twelve digit sum is three. 
this digit sum is seven. three into seven. Here no here no need to add. Here you have to multiply. Whatever mathematical operation has given. Like for addition we will add the digit sum. For multiplication we will add. This is twenty one. Twenty one again you have to make some to get the single digit three. Here you just make it eight plus two twelve twelve one plus two three. Both are same. I think now it is very clear. Then directly you can apply for multiplication. LHS should be equal to RHS. If it is given in division format, then just to convert in multiplication format, then it will be easy. Now one another common sense is apply the concept of ten. Why we are applying the concept of ten? This again concept of ten will be more more useful in power cycle. Once we will discuss a number or the power cycle, how unit digit will keep on repeat after certain number of intervals depends on the unit digit. If unit digit is one, then repetition cycle will be different. If unit digit is two, then cycle will be different. And again some pattern is there. Two, three, seven, it will have follow the same pattern. And nine will follow the same pattern. Six and five will be always same. Like that many patterns are there. Then if you are Solving the question based on the power cycle. Then again, concept of ten, group of ten will come. There, group of ten. Here, concept of ten. What is concept of ten? Concept of ten means if you are following the decimal system. If after addition, if you are getting number ten or more than ten, then what is happening? It is happening. Number of digits are increasing by one. Number of digits are increasing by one. Like if you are adding two plus three, it is five. Both are single digit number. If you are adding three plus six, nine. Both are single digit number. But same way, if you are adding three plus nine, it is happening twelve. Single Digit will convert to double digit. What is difference here? Difference is ten. Due to ten. Three plus nine. Three plus nine. If you are doing, it will become ten. You can write ten plus two. This ten is differentiator. As soon as ten will achieve, that will come to here. This will become like here. And we know about the face value and place value. I think no need to discuss again and again. This you know. This is very basic concept. Same way, if you are adding a big number, concept looks very easy. Well, what is this one? Three plus nine, twelve. Everybody knows. What is magic of this? Or what is uh, very peculiarity of that? This is not peculiar. But this concept is very peculiar. You can use for shortcut calculation of addition and subtraction. Like if you are taking, if you encountered very big number, like just suppose one of the example. Three eight seven five minus one two eight five plus two ninety five plus thirty nine. Here addition addition also involved subtraction also involved. Four digit number also there. Three digit number also there. Two digit number also there. First what we will do? First we will do the addition. I think it is very clear. First we will do the addition. Just I will write. You know you people are very smart. These all are basic thing. This is board mass. This is sequence of mathematical operation. And again, we will discuss during the number session. This is one separate session about the board mass. Like uh, this is bracket. This is this one division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. And we know if addition and subtraction both are involved, then first you have to add, then you have to. Then here for addition, three numbers are there: three eight seven five, two ninety five, and thirty nine. How we'll add? Now we'll get the resultant number. This is four digit number, and I discussed. And this is three digit. This is two digit. Then your resultant will be maximum four digit number. It is not going to become a five digit number, or it is not going to reduce a three digit. Number also, it will be four-digit number. That is very clear. And this subtract subtraction part also four-digit number. Then after subtraction, what is the chance? Chance is your resultant may be either four-digit number or three-digit number. This analysis in fraction of second your brain should do. Like this calculation you got, then. Your addition part is four digit, three digit, and two digit. Then after addition, you will get maximum four digit number. And your subtracting part is again four digit number. Means after subtraction, you may get either four digit number or maximum maybe three digit number. It is not going to become a two digit number. It is not going to become a five digit number or three digit number. Means this is just like analysis, just by seeing the number, just by seeing the calculation, type of calculation. Now here only we have to figure out after addition what will be the resultant. Three eight seven five two nine five thirty nine. What we will do? This three. We should take as it is. Three. We should take as it is. Now, only thing we will check this second number. This eight plus two. How much it is coming? Ten. Ten means this three will become four. That much only guess we have to do. That hardly will take one by tenth of second. I'm very sure. Now, next number. If you are doing seven plus nine, enough. No need to do. This is two. This is two. Here, eight plus two. It will be ten. If you are adding next two digit number, it will become ten. Will become eleven. We will approximate. We will make it two forty two. This one two eight five. We will approximate is one three. It will be two nine. We know this will be four digit number. The answer will be near to two thousand nine hundred or twenty nine hundred. Maybe two thousand nine hundred two two five. Two nine five six, or maybe two nine eight nine, or maybe little less also. Little less also possible. Two eight nine two. That also possibility is there. But your result will be your resultant number will be near to two thousand nine hundred. Will be little less or maybe little more. That also you can figure out. Not a big magic. But uh, why to put unnecessary time to figuring out exact number? 
or figuring out deviation, positive side, negative side. Whenever required, we can figure out. This side we are doing the approximation, accordingly deviation will be there. That already discussed in last session, how to figure out the deviation, how to figure out your deviation from actual answer. That will depend on which side we are taking the deviation. If you are taking the higher side number, your actual solution will be below that. If you are taking the below side, then actual solution will be higher than. Then these all are the small thing. If it is required, you can figure out. Otherwise, it is not required. Then addition and subtraction. Mainly you have to apply these three four concepts like concept of 10 after then trust and work system for rechecking and matching the answer choices and ignore n minus one digit from n digit. Again here I am just repeating once first you ignore n minus one digit again after adding this digit you can ignore second n minus two digit. You are getting my point. Like first we have ignored 259827. We have added 6 plus 5, 11. Now second we will ignore in 259 and 827 we will ignore 59 and 27. We will take 2 plus 8. It is 10. Again it is concept of 10. Then what will happen? 11 will, will convert to 12. That, that much is enough. That much is more more than enough. Afterwards only our assumption this number should be how many digit? How many digit will be there? Then both number are 4 digit number. Then this may be 4 digit or 5 digit. That much only we can do. We have after adding of this first digit 6 plus 5 both are single digit number 6 and 5 but after adding you have got two digit number and this this four digit number four digit number will produce five digit number these are not just i am explaining explanation is taking more time explanation is taking more time but once you understood your thinking and your sense of number or sense of concept how to apply this concept will take very very less i am just explaining bit by bit small small thing a step by a step then explanation is taking more time but actual process once you will apply it will take very less time and these are the technique and uh, next number of digits what will happen and one of the most important concept whatever i told to you today you try to follow left to right not right to left just opposite of your school concept whatever your teacher has told always follow right to left follow your left to right again during discussion of all cat level or above the cat level question not only for uh, quant from quant and di and from various section one of the reading concept is there reading concept means observation concept generally our observation concept is very limited because our writing system is from left to right our writing system is left to right then our eye movement also will be left to right our brain has programmed like coded to learn only left to right you will not observe from right to left this is our limitation why this is limitation because that much only we have learned our school system having that limitation teacher will give you keep on feedback from this side to this side this side to this side this side means always left to right our brain will work right to left we will not able to always recognize not able to synthesize what we have to do always if any equation you are reading you read from both of the side your brain should work from left to right and right to left many of the question you will get idea how to solve same way like left to right concept or right to left concept you can apply for questions and answer choice also generally what is our method of learning we will take the question we will apply concept we will solve it then we will arrive to the answer and if choices is given then we will match the answer choices we will mark the answer can you think we can go like this also? What is problem? No problem. Our brain will not accept because we are habituated to read from first question then answer. We will read the question answer and afterwards we will not go in reverse way. Only we will go unidirectional question to answer, question to answer. One time you just try to go after reading question answer, answer to question because answer is this answer, this particular answer is depends on this question. This is 100% truth. But reverse we are not thinking. This question depends on this answer. After day, if it is night, then after night it will be day. Both are sequential operation. Same way, here whatever data has given in question, based on that data, answer will be arrived. But whatever answer has given, based on that only, this data of question will be both are correct. But we are following only one system. We will try to follow both of that. And during the course, in various session, I will just teach you and I will guide you how to think from left to right and right to left both and that will give you the another advantage compared to other students then keep on learn at paroliko.com and i hope you are uh, enjoying the learning and what you are learning whatever you love and try to love your learning as much as possible because once you are any work if you are doing with love you will do the super form means you will do the best job if without love any work you are doing it is not going to be a very quality job to get the greater output to get the good product either it is a physical product or maybe services or maybe anything you should love your work here your work is learning love your learning parolico.com thank you thank you very much